Well, good morning. Hey, just wanted to show these beautiful uh, mountains and clouds and sun to you. Isn't that just beautiful? It is so pretty this morning. We had some freezing rain and the temperatures are going to be dropping way down, like down to 8 degrees in a couple days. Uh, and we got fresh snow on the mountains, but we have some blue sky this morning and the sun shining on the fresh snow. It's absolutely glorious. So we're excited to uh, share our video with you today. Hey, welcome to Montana Haven. If you are new, my name is Priscilla, and this is my husband, Joas. Welcome. <laughs> and we're coming to you today because we have some things on our heart that we just want to share with you, some things that we did not grow up with, and uh, just some things that we feel are important. Yes, that's good. And uh, we've noticed that a lot of you really enjoy the videos where we sit down like this. And I know a lot of you, you enjoy the videos of, of our family. It, it seems like that from the comments and the views. And we're very grateful. First of all, we just want to say thank you again. Like Priscilla mentioned, thanks for watching us and following us. We're just a normal family. We have five kids yep. from age four through twins that are 13, uh, three boys, two girls. And we live in, in the northwest corner of Montana. And we grew up Amish. And... Um, so that's, I guess, leading into a little bit what we want to talk with you about today. And as you probably noticed by the heading, uh, this has to do with where we're currently at in America in our election year. Uh, we grew up uh, as the Amish. Uh, the Amish typically do not vote. We came from what we call the Old Order Amish, which is horse and buggy. Um, many of them don't have running water, uh, but, but there's more and more. They're becoming a little bit less conservative in that way. But, but we grew up uh, with the information and the knowledge that being taught that we shouldn't have anything to do with the government, we shouldn't vote, uh, we should just pray and that's all we should do. We should be like just the quiet in the land and not interfere with the government like it's totally separate and um, just hope that everything goes well. Right. Well, first of all, let me just share with you, This is our. these are our opinions, okay? These are our convictions, our okay. opinions, and they may not reflect yours and you know what, that's okay. There's no we're not trying to force this on you. We're just saying, hey, this is what we feel, and maybe it resonates with you, maybe it doesn't. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just gonna make a mention. Um, we're gonna leave the comments turned on, and we just ask you to please be respectful. I don't want a lot of back and forth. Um, you know, anti this, anti that. I don't wanna argue. We're not looking for argumentation here. We're just wanna share our hearts. You feel, you're, feel free to post what you feel, but let's not re-comment on that and say, you know, you're wrong. And we just ask you to be respectful. For those of us living in America, I hope we all love America. Uh, we certainly do. I know there's a lot of you that don't live in America, in the United States, and so we're, you're watching from other parts of the world. And so hopefully this is interesting to you as well. Um, but uh, getting back to how we grew up uh, was that the government is somehow out there, and we're somehow separate from the government. And um, But uh, as I mentioned, we have felt that uh, this is something that is not quite accurate and again we shared it's, it's this is our conviction our opinion but we want to encourage you today in something um, see nothing changes uh, in in our land well hardly anything changes. God uses people uh, to change things and he does very little just because he's God and he's just gonna do something and we're just mere puppets on this earth um, he actually uses people. That's why he made people because he loves people. He has a heart for people and he uses people to do the things through him on the earth for his kingdom. And so that is our uh, perspective. So, so it is our duty um, to go and vote. And I want to encourage you, especially those of you that are listening today uh, from our background, especially those. And also... Um, I believe in 2016, if my numbers are correct, there was something like 15 million Christians did not vote. 15 million Christians did not vote, and that was so close. Um, there's something wrong with that picture. Yeah. We have the op we have the right right. We have the duty to cast our vote and to to vote for truth and life. And so I strongly encourage you, uh, let's not think about this mentality, it's just one vote, it doesn't really count that much. Yeah. It's actually very critical. 
uh, that we vote. And even, let's just say for example it doesn't do much, what you do by voting is you actually make a statement saying that I choose to believe, I choose to act on what I believe is right. right. And even if you think maybe it doesn't make the biggest difference, which each vote makes a difference. Uh, so what we want to do today is encourage you, we're not going to tell you so much who to vote for as we want you to look for the candidate or candidates that choose life. To us there's a lot of issues you could talk about, all kinds of things, uh, but there's one thing that is very important to us and I believe it is on God's heart and that is the life of the unborn child. And first of all we want to say that those of you that are watching that have had an abortion um, or have tried to have an abortion or something or have thought of an abortion, we don't want to cast any shame or guilt on you. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, we want you to be free. We want all mm -hmm. people to be free and this is not to condemn you or anything. We love, uh, we love all people and but our heart is to protect those uh, unborn babies that have millions have been killed. I don't even know the number anymore, but millions of babies have been killed in just the United States. And let, I'll just tell you this, if we, we also raise dogs and people are very, very particular about their dogs. They actually treat them much better. If, if people were um, killing puppies in the womb at the same rate they would be killing human babies, yeah. you would hear an awful outcry. It would be awful. Yeah. Um, it just would, it, nobody would allow it. But somehow, humans aren't as special as puppies. I don't know how that works, wh how somebody can be disillusioned like that. It should not be that way. No, so life is precious. Life begins at conception. It's not a blob of tissue. It's a heartbeat. Uh, science has proven over and over that uh, the heart starts beating very quickly after conception. And that's a real human person in there, and just the awfulness of killing. Somehow, it's we take people to uh, put people in jail and arrest people if it's born seconds outside the womb. But if it's seconds inside the womb, it's okay. And that that's not okay. We ask you, we encourage you to vote for those candidates who choose life. Uh, put the other issues aside. I simply cannot vote for any person that says it's okay to kill a baby. Personally, I don't see how I could ever vote for someone that says it's okay to kill another person. That's the way I feel about it. It's, their heart is not in the right spot, so I'm not just, I'm not gonna vote for them. I encourage you to do the same. Mm -hmm. um, anything you wanna comment, babe, at this time? I would encourage, don't just vote uh, for, for the one that you feel is a nice guy or, uh, just sounds good. Sounds good, yes. Uh, I mean, look deeper, go deeper, actually find out who is this person about and is he for the American people or is he for himself and for what he can get out of this? Does he care about us as the, as the American people? Or any office of that matter. Right. He or what, she. Yeah, right. Any state senators, Congress, mm -hmm. yeah, all important, very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'll just say about the president, uh, I'll just be frank, very frank, we, we love President Trump. Uh, I was skeptical in the beginning uh, of, his, of his first term, uh, but I have come to see a change in him. Uh, there, of course, we all know his, his rashness and brashness, and, uh, but here's what I want to encourage you with on that, is my mom had a motto uh, above her sink that she looked at, that she saw every day, don't judge a man until you have walked a mile in his moccasins. And I think that's mm -hmm. so so crucial and so critical for us. It's, and that applies to our everyday life as well as, um, you know, so easy to judge other people. And it's so easy to say, man, he shouldn't be doing that. But I will tell you one thing. If I was in his shoes, if I was doing what he was doing, okay, I might not be as brash, but I, there'd be a whole lot of other things I would screw up on, <laughs> mess up with. So mm -hmm. I, I bless him. We pray for him. And we're very thankful for, he is for life. He is for truth. And um, yeah, he screwed up many times, but I'm still grateful that God, I believe God put him there for such a time as this. Mm -hmm. And that is important. Uh, we are in a critical time in America. So we just encourage you to vote, encourage you to pray, uh, 
let's not just idly stand back and see what happens with the election. Right. Let's be engaged. Mm -hmm. Let's let's actively pray uh, that the right people would be would be elected in all yes. the offices in the yeah. land on state levels, local levels, yes. levels and uh, federal levels, because it's so crucial in this time period. Mm -hmm. I believe there's as we could see through this last summer. The darkness is getting darker and the light is getting lighter. There's a more sharp distinction. Mm -hmm. There's not this gray line that there was, uh, you know, a decade ago. There's much, a lot of gray. I think it's even going to become a lot, lot clearer, a lot more distinct mm -hmm. in the days to come. Yeah. Yes, uh, we just encourage you, go and vote. It's not, it's not a lot of time anymore. Uh, go out and vote and just... Uh, like even pause and think is this the person I really want to vote for is this like for me I'm not a political person I'm I don't know much about politics but I do know what is right and I do know what is wrong right. and so I choose to uh, to vote for the person who stands up for righteousness and for what is right and who stands up for the American people and no one is perfect, even the people that we vote for. No. <laughs> they're going to mess up. You know, and we do the same thing if we're in their shoes. We're not looking for a per perfect person. We're looking for that someone that God can use to mm -hmm. fulfill the things that, that God has called them to fulfill. Yeah. So, yeah. Anything else? I don't know. I think that's it. So, again, we just bless you. We've got, I think, just, uh, I don't know week and a half or little under two weeks left into the election yes and so we lord even right now we pray uh in your holy name we pray in jesus name mm -hmm. come chloe you want to sit with us <laughs> all the other kids are in school and uh, i didn't have to go to work early this morning so we're, we're taking the time right now just to make this video mm -hmm. chloe's not going to school yet so lord we just pray for your righteousness that it would pervade this land Lord, we all want to live in peace. We all want to live a life uh, that is contented and peaceful and full of joy. That's what everyone is looking for. Mm -hmm. And so we just ask that you would do this. And we know that you are the author of peace. You make peace and you bring joy and you bring happiness. And so uh, pray however this election turns out, the elections with all the different levels. Uh, we just ask you, Lord, that you would move among this world, among in the United States of America that you move among the people and that in the end it's about you it's about it's about people it's about how you love people it's about what you're doing in the earth yeah. it's about what you want to do it's about family and it's about loving each other and so Lord we just bless you today for that and I bless our viewers Lord I pray you would prosper their lives whether they think like we do or whether they don't think like we do it doesn't matter I pray that you would uh, prosper them in their in whatever they do and so we just thank you Lord for that thank you for your blessing and your favor that we can no matter where we're at there's always people that are worse off than us or better off than us mm -hmm. so we just are grateful for all the blessings that we have Lord yeah. <laughs> and uh, thank you Lord amen thanks for watching Montana Haven and again don't forget to subscribe and please remember to keep the comments kind and we bless you we love you and care about you have a rest good rest of your life